Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and thank you to all the wonderful people here on Twitch. Uh, I'm recording this live. Alpha 12's just dropped, um, and the first one I wanted, the first new hull I wanted to look at, and thank you very much for the follow there. Terminator 9, not, not, not 9,000, 90,000, thank you very much, is the Japanese experimental battleship, which is available in 1929, uh, and... It's this one. Thank you very much for the follow there. Millennium Sword. That's cool, isn't it? So, I'm just curious. Ooh. Okay, so it's very similar to the French ships. That's interesting. Let's see what we can do. Whoa. Okay. So that's the Super Pagoda from the Japanese Super Battleship. Interesting. Or you can go with this. Oh, oh my. Or this, an advanced pagoda tower. Nice, a big pagoda tower. Good lord. Or a standard pagoda tower. Oh my! So there are a lot of. Uh, that's a lot of choice. Um, there's quite a lot of weight difference between them as well. What about stats? Um, there's a pretty big jump to the Advanced Pagoda. I think the Advanced Pagoda is a pretty good one. Let's go with the Advanced Pagoda Tower. Interesting. That's a, that's a lot of space. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my. Congo Tower. <laughs> Congo Towers. Well, it, it, yeah, the hull is definitely similar to the French one. Um, but uh, this is... This, these towers, these are very interesting towers. So we've got tall towers. Okay. They all look the same. No, they're not all the same. Different different models. Okay. Similar looking. And then we have the moderns, which are the big ones. Okay. Stat-wise, hmm. Look at that! Look at that jump in that. That is a light tower. Look how little superstructure there is on this ship. I know um, people in chat saying, "Oh, it's similar to the French one," but the French one, when you build this ship as the French, most of this upper grey area is taken up with. Um, the, the towers and stuff. This thing is... I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to put some funnels in. But... Still. Okay. Alright. I can get behind this. Can you do T-Ferrers with this? No. <laughs> you can't attach... You can't attach... Barbettes where they shouldn't be. You can get... Um, you can get... Secondary barbettes in there, but not the other ones. Okay. Good to know. Uh, let's, let's think. Gun wise, uh, this era looks like this thing's pretty much designed for a 16 inch gun, and that does let us to use the new style, which is very nice. Okay. What about barbettes at the back? Can you fit any back here? No, but you can secondary armament on this thing could be could be completely insane, right? Oh, hello! This is new. This is totally new. Oil, full oil burners. There are three of these now. Interesting. Um, I didn't. I, I'm not high enough tech to get access to the diesels. Okay, interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, what's our smoke interference like? 110. Wow. Okay. So you can get two... Two small super funnels in like that. Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yay, well, yeah, 
but I, I kind of like the 16s. They they look they look good. Um, can you? You can fit one here. Oh, oh, hello. That's the, again the French one can fit one on their tower, but it can't fit one on down on the deck like that. What an interesting ship this is turning out to be. Right. Um. Maybe get some secondary guns in. A six-inch gun, that fire over the top. Yeah, well, nice. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Can't really go to town with this thing. Hmm. Not sure I want those those ones there, but I'll keep this one. Cause yeah, I'm I'm liking this ship so far. <laughs> um okay. And then can you fit them down here? I could, but it interferes with the uh, the big one. What about five inch guns? Okay, fours, threes, twos. Ah, here's the good stuff. Lovely. And the <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what on earth? Uh, that middle one's no good, but you can put a bunch of them down there. That's quite amusing. I have an half weight offset, unsurprisingly. Uh, but we can sort it out. There we go. Oh my. <laughs> Alright, Ken, okay, thanks for the look. Can I stick another main gun on the stern? No. I can't. Like, they won't sit there, just like the French ones. Um, won't. It's a very weird looking ship, I'll be honest. Because I kind of want a gun in there. Maybe we could get a secondary gun in there. Yeah, why not? Doesn't matter if that one can't fire over the top. This is a very strange ship. <laughs> this is a very strange ship. Um, okay. Right. Um, I'm noticing this ship is fast as well. Uh, that's 27 knots on natural boilers. Interesting. Okay, we'll stick with that. Uh, let's get an auxiliary diesel engine. We don't care about range for this particular mission. Get maximum bulkheads, why not? Shafts, upgrade, armor, pop it. Nothing, nothing new here. Drop the bottom hull. Let's pick up some anti-torpedo protection just in case. Uh, less than that. Shell tight. It's our flash fire chance at the moment. Eight. High TNT is only four. That'll do. Let's go semi-auto loaders. Advanced Hydraulics, Gen 2 Radar, uh, Hydrophone, Range Finder, nothing too unusual for me. Um, armor, let's go with a 14 7 to start with. 6, six 3, let's go with 16 on the turrets. I've got a lot, a lot of. Uh, Displacement left for armor, which is good. Um, we've got a lot of extended deck, so I'm actually going to bump the extended deck all the way up to six. Screw it, why not? We'll make the uh, belt extended 14 as well. Nice. And the tower 16, same as the turret. Get the belt mate. Yeah, we can get the main. Wow, this thing is. Uh, this is tough. This is a tough ship. And whoa, that's that's a lot. <laughs> Maybe not quite that much armor on the secondaries. Um, 
There we go, 16, that's fine. Although they're still insane. There we go. <laughs> no, don't need the secondaries that well, Ahmed. Come on. Let's stick the rest on the tower. This is a this is a big ship. This is massive. Goodness me. Hello there, Sunless. How you doing? Okay, let's try this out. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. See what the uh, United Statesians come up with. Could be tougher. Really? How? <laughs> Okay, I could put anti torpedo four on instead of anti torpedo two, but hey there, Grumpy Finn. Nice to see. You. Uh, shout out to both Ken and Grumpy Finn. Um, before I forget, um, really nice to see. You. I'll quickly do that. So, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not following Ken. X Psycho, then you should be. And uh, Grumpy Finn over on Twitch as well does Ultimate Admiral content, which is really cool. So there's not many Ultimate Admiral people over on Twitch, so go and give them a follow. Right. Let's go. <laughs> this is actually the first battle I've played with the new update, so we shall see how this ship performs, but Looks, looks good. Bit of a weird design, I'll be honest, but I don't know. It's got a certain something about it. some Americans to deal with. Ship. It's got a pretty good turning circle. She doesn't feel that responsive though. Let's see what the improved AI has come up with. Well, apart from that being a needless barbette, that's not bad looking. Give it a, give it a B. That is, I mean, apart from the Italian guns, um, not bad. I would. This gun and this gun are in a bit of a weird place. There's a lot of secondaries. Not bad. Uh, that looks fine. Apart from that, that that should kind of be there. And a good-looking destroyer. Okay. Why not? Uh, no hits yet, of course. <laughs> I know, we wouldn't be disappointed if the uh, AI didn't have a few of its quirks left. That was a big hit on that ship way back there, probably by accident. destroying. No, that's one of the cruisers. Although, I can all... Well, sometimes the AI would do that. Okay, whatever the ship that was just died. Um. <laughs> 1940s German destroyer gun duel against an armoured cruiser. Yeah. The, um... I'm not sure how they would go, actually. But uh, all I'm doing today is focusing on all the new hulls, so we'll try them all out. We'll see what they can all do, um, and I'll be posting them as extra videos. So if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, this will be the third video I'm putting out today, actually. 
Now I'll get back to these scenarios as soon as I have a look at all these new things. So the Los Angeles standard bulkheads, 35 knots. Armors, meh. Mm, standard TNT. That's not bad. That's a pretty well rounded chip. 48 million. No glaring problems. Not bad, AI. Eh? Not bad. Quite sure why the battleship's obsessed with it. Also have an ID on the destroyer. Many bulkheads, cheap uh, chips, six million-ish. Thirty-five knots, pathetic armor, and what eight torpedoes, but only one shot. Not 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 a bad ship either. Okay, don't get my hopes up, AI. Also have the North Dakota. 20 inch guns, good lord. But the firing Lidite, which is a bit weird. Few bulkheads, slow as inland. Armor's okay though. Mm, light. Light Lidite 20 inch shells. Well, you know, can't, can't have everything, can we? <laughs> oh shit, torpedoes. <laughs> so busy. I'm so busy. Waffling, I completely forgot that the enemy would be, uh, of course, launching torpedoes at me. Uh, that's what you get. <laughs> it would explain why the battleship was firing so angrily at the uh, cruiser, trying to take it out. A couple of big hits there. Oops. <laughs> uh, damage not too severe though. Massive hits the Los Angeles there. She's still going. Six inch guns are trying to clip the destroyer. Uh, next Mass Effect stream. That's a good point, Sonus. I um I just been kind of saving myself because I knew this was coming out. Um, so I have been playing Mass Effect offline. Um, yeah, I'll I might I might get back to Mass Effect once I've basically worn out. <laughs> Alpha 12, <laughs> and, I, and I want to go back to my normal streaming schedule. Um, I'm already on Mass Effect 2, by the way, because <laughs> I was waiting for quite a while for Alpha, um, Alpha 12 to come out. <laughs> I know, it was all going so well, yeah, they, well, they're trying to fire AP shells. Um, which will do damage. I mean, Lidite's not terrible, right? There goes the Los Angeles. I think, yeah. The destroyer managed to get her torpedoes off. There they are. And are we avoiding them? Well, no. No, we are not. Avoided some of them. A couple of hits. <laughs> 16 inch guns firing in response. Pretty impressed actually, the Setsu there has taken how many torpedo hits now? Five. It still has 62% structure left and one engine still operating, which really isn't that bad. Why don't you fire your big guns at the battleship, Setsu? <laughs> would make sense. Pretty big damage on the north to go to there. Destroyer, meanwhile, gets taken out by the secondary guns. And boom. <laughs> well, you saw that coming with 20 inch Lidite shells. <laughs> uh, right, well, there we go. There's the first creation of mine with uh, one of the new Alpha 12 hulls. Hope you enjoyed that um, on YouTube. Uh, Twitch, we're just going to go straight into the next hull. And uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.